Hey, don't laugh at my little cat. This little guy will make our day later. Wait for it. Uh, we can use that one for fresh bait now. Thanks for coming back to our channel. Today, we will fish at the beautiful beach in the far north of New Zealand. We are at the Karakari Peninsula. First, we prepare our soft casting gear at the car park. Shit, we don't say where this place is. Just need the bait and uh, my surf casting traces here. It doesn't have a lid. No. Get some nice big PKK circle hooks. Just take some of those just in case. Luckily, the hook organizer box still has the lid. We are setting up for two soft casting rods. This trace here is a little bit thinner uh, than the other one, so hopefully, no sharks around. Sometimes the preparing takes longer than the actual fishing time. Just doing a simple uni knot, the only knot you need to know for fishing. You know this, uh, what is it called? Split wing pliers. I also got a braid cutter or line cutter on it. it works actually better than scissors, I found. It's still windy a little bit, but we can manage this wind, eh? The wind's coming from behind, so it's good for, curse, uh, for casting for. Hope for the best. Finally, let's go to the beach and catch some, catch some fish. I called on a Monday, waiting for a sign. Just sitting in my barrel. We still had leftover bait from yesterday. We usually use one or two hooks and a breakout sinker. But you know, it might be good you to use the soft bait here. Mm. Because uh, the waves are washing that soft bait a bit more around. Now, finally you can do the first cast. The first cast, yeah. Is it? No, no, it's yeah? Alright. No. Alright, set the drag a little bit higher. Okay, not too much. Not too much? Yeah. It means okay. just not Let's too see. much. Doesn't seem to be very big though. Are you sure something is on? I lose a big fish. I called on a Monday, waiting for a sign. It was right after I caught the small kawaii. I got lost in the tide. Asian is on again. Another kawaii. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Some 
think it's all snip up. Snip up. Snip up, snip, snip up. No, I think it's the car light. Filming or? But it's a very lightweight, maybe nothing. But what's the own? Really, what's something what's own? Aging is the master of catching uh, just the nothing. <laughs> Oh yes, Nepal, Nepal Thai. Guys, you can visit us at fishingreminder.com. It's free for you. You can get the best buy times and Thai times and much more. And please subscribe to our channel and give us big thumbs up. Remember the little fish that I caught at the beginning of this video? We used a piece of it as bait. She got this the fresh kawaii and I was gonna disappoint it if you catch kawaii with the kawaii bait. <laughs> Carnivals. Wow! Nice one! The fresh kawaii bait worked like a charm in this case. Now. It was a beautiful and productive fishing spot at the Kari Kari Peninsula. Nice, beautiful kawaii! We caught a fish at the start of the bite time, the kawaii, and they're always pretty active when it's bright. And then when it gets darker, just towards sunset, always a good chance for snapper and uh, trevally here. So. Nice! It's time for us to pick up and look who's there by the beach. Big ass bronze whaler shark here right by the beach. Eh? No fishing trip is complete without catching a nice snapper, right? Next video, we will get to the rock point you can see now over there and catch a big, big snapper. Stay tuned guys! I like really like using those ones here from the $2 shop. This little uh, cable organizer. You just put them on your fishing rod and two of them, one on the bottom, one on the top, and your fishing rods stay organized. And very easy <laughs> to lose as well. As soon as you take them off, they seem to disappear. But nevertheless, very good to keep a rod organized. <laughs>